step 2 and 3, choosing the correct equation. Most Form 4 students get confused when they see all the equations of motion. There are so many equations, which one should I use? Don't worry, the guide is pretty simple. There are three types of motion. Motion at uniform velocity, or you are asked to find the average velocity. Motion at uniform acceleration. Motion at changing acceleration. For motion at uniform velocity, or you are asked to find the average velocity, we use the formula V equal to S over T for velocity and V equal to D over T for speed. For motion at uniform acceleration, we use the four equations of linear motion. Problems related to changing acceleration is not in SPM physics syllabus. You will learn this in Form 5 at Math. In previous slide, we have learned that questions related to uniform acceleration can be solved by using one of the four equations of uniform acceleration. However, the question is, how do we know which one to use? Well, let us look at the four equations. Each one has four variables. To determine which equation to use, we check which variable is not involved in the calculation. For example, if displacement is not involved in the calculation, we use the first equation. If acceleration is not involved, we use the second equation and so on. In conclusion, we determine which equation to use from the quantity which is not given or not involved in the calculation. Let's look at the example in the very next slide for a better understanding. Example 2. An object is traveling at 5 meter per second accelerates at 3 meter per second square for 10 seconds. What is the final velocity? Click on the answer buttons to proceed. Let's list down all the information given. Initially, the object traveled at 5 meter per second. It is then accelerates at 3 meter per second square for 10 seconds. We are asked to find the final velocity. Let's also write down all the four equations of uniform acceleration. Now, let us ask ourselves a question. Which quantity of motion is not involved in this problem? We have U, A, T, and V. But the displacement is not involved. Let's examine. Among the four equations, which one does not have displacement? It is V equals to U plus A, T. In this question, displacement is not present. Therefore, we use this equation to solve the problem. Substitute all the physical quantities into the equation, solve it, and we get the answer. The final velocity is 35 meter per second. This example shows how to choose a correct formula for solving the problem. We choose the formula by inspecting which quantity of motion is absent in the problem.